All right, welcome back to more Painkiller Black Edition. We got the Cathedral next. And we're immediately starting right down here underneath. And our objective here is pretty much a favorite one, collecting some gold, because who doesn't love gold? And we got the return of the monks. This time they're dual wielding. But they still haven't learned their lesson from last from last time. Where if they, you know, throw all their axes, well then immediate dead. Still I gotta gotta ask, how can you bound your life to an axe and then you immediately lose it by just tossing the axe? It's like given all your life force to like one attack in like some case. It's like go like Majin Vegeta against Boo, and then look what happened to him. <laughs> uh, but anything, uh, besides that. So as I'm recording this, uh, I'm recording this um, after the uh, pretty much the entirety of E3 has been completed, so I might as well go ahead and use that as a thing to discuss. And I, I want to say that out of all the games that I'm most looking forward to that each conference has provided, most of the games I'm most interested in is, no joke, Bethesda. I know it's weird because like I posted up a reaction video of me reacting to Ridley joining Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I am looking forward to, of course. So you would think that like Nintendo won because of that. Well, not really because like I was expecting a few other bits of details for like other games, like. Uh, well, I did find out later that the Octo Expansion was going to be, like, released, like, like on the 13th, so there was that. But it wasn't shown during the conference. They showed that bit of detail after, um, the World Championship for Splatoon 2. But they didn't, yeah, like I said, they didn't share that bit of information during the uh, conference thing. Um, but there was also that one Yoshi game that involves, like, a bunch of, like, arts and crafts stuff as the aesthetic because the previous one involved using yarn which hey who, who doesn't love yarn like it's cute as heck <laughs> and now like the next one's going to involve looking like a bunch of like arts and crafts stuff i mean who doesn't who doesn't love yoshi's either i'm being paid to say that because mike told me to <laughs> no <laughs> uh, and anyways but yeah, that's one other game I'm looking forward to. And also, more information about freaking Prime 4. Freaking Metroid Prime 4. Like, they teased that for, like, last year, and I'm like... <gasps> Wait, no. It wasn't last year. I think they I think they said that, like, earlier this year? I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is that Prime 4 is in the works. And they just didn't share any more information about it. Now, if, if anything like Prime 4, where they just showed... Saying like, hey, the thing's in, in um, pre-production. Uh, one of the games that Bethesda teased was freaking Elder Scrolls 6. Ballsy move. What's, you want also what's another ballsy move? Mother freaking Fallout 76. Because that's going to be a game that's going to involve multiplayer. Like, how the hell is that going to work? I don't know why, but I was like getting vibes of like... Dark Souls or something. Not in terms of like gameplay, obviously not, but in terms of like how multi, uh, how single player and multiplayer kind of like merge or something like that, where like players can like invade your single player world or something like that. I, I doubt that's how that's going to work, but I'm getting vibes from that. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to be a sucker and having to get freaking oh god. And having to get uh, Fallout 76 anyways. And I would imagine that uh, it would be easy to make uh, compared to like other Fallout entries just because it's using the same engine as Fallout 4. Just do a little bit of changes and there you go. So it's like Fallout 76 is like New Vegas is to like Fallout 3, you know that sort of thing. Except it's straight from the same uh, developers and not, like, Obsidian Entertainment. 
Also, considering the type of game that I am playing, let's not forget about freaking Doom Eternal. Heck yeah. We want more of Doom. We always love more of Doom. And seeing how that the setting is going to be placed like hell on Earth, we're going to be getting some uh, some of the returning enemies. I saw Pain Elemental, the motherfucking Archvile. Minus a thousand points on that one. <laughs> but still, like, I'll be excited to hear about more information about it during QuakeCon in August. And I think maybe, maybe I want to take a look at that Elder Scrolls Blades thing, which is some sort of, like, dungeon crawler sort of a dealy. You just go through, like, dungeons. Oh my god, he disabled me. Uh. Yeah, the big beer belly scythe wielding guys are back. And they have a thing where they can disable you shooting. That's, that's no good. Oh yeah, I forgot about the big behemoth in the middle of the area here. Uh, pay no mind to him for, for now. Just stay here along the sides here and we should be fine. Because all, all he ever does is that he just shakes the whole cathedral to dump a bunch of rocks on you. And then sometimes try to throw a rock at you directly. Uh, but other than that, he's fine. He's just a confused hell being. Oh look, he's about to throw. <laughs> I would have laughed so hard if that rock actually hit the freaking beer belly scythe guy. I mean, you see it too, right? He has a freaking beer belly. <laughs> whatever, like beer belly or fat belly, whatever works. I want to say it's a beer belly, because beer bellies. <laughs> I don't know why they always just somehow end up having a more like more funnier shape than just a f generic fat belly. Flat bellies are a lot more just like. Sure, it's big, but it's tend to like, you know, like. Flop. <laughs> beer bellies, however, they, they just have like a more defined shape. Why am I talking about beer bellies? God damn it. <laughs> ah! Well, that was a good shot on your part. <laughs> shot. As if that scythe has a gun to it. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay, I'm curious. Am I able to go into demon mode while this big guy's around? I don't know if there's going to be like two more guys around here. Because according to my monster killings, I did manage to get... I only missed two out of the current 66, so yeah, I guess I missed two. So that sucks. I wanted to go into demon mode to go up against this guy. That would have been great. Alright. So yeah, this guy you can defeat. I mean, you have to in order to progress. And I'm just gonna do some stupid shit. Oh. Uh. Here, let's return you. Dang it, you're ruining my mojo. Here, let's switch on over to this, because I don't use this enough. I do so believe, I did mention about like, how this works. I guess the further away you are, it'll start burning as it travels, so I guess it'll do more damage that way. There you go. All right, so anyway, yeah, the objective right here is to get a lot a lot of gold. And it should not be that hard, actually, because considering the some of the objects you have to destroy, like these here, yield a lot of gold compared to the explosive barrels here. Which, by the way, I do have to want to go ahead and go around and having to find them. And I have been running low on that stuff.
Let's see, what else from E3? Oh yeah, there was uh, already announcements about the next Wolfenstein game. Where it turns out that they'll take place uh, later in the future to 1980, where you play as the twin daughters. I mean, I don't know if anyone played the new Colossus yet, but yeah. It turns out that the uh, two daughters uh, pretty much survived up to that point now. And is now doing out the now doing the fighting. And considering that there is the twin daughters, I guess you know what that expects. Yep, there's going to be co-op, which I'll be pretty excited about because that means that we'll have an excuse to like get Mike on this or something. <laughs> Come to think of it, I have not seen him yet play the new Colossus. Then again, I wouldn't blame him. I need to find a few more guys up here. Oh crap, I fell. I'm guessing when I hear like a really distinct noise like the that means I actually landed a hit. Everything else, well, I just, yeah. And I really needed that. Because I accidentally blew myself up <laughs> earlier. At one point. Line them all up. Oh yeah, those guys uh, don't have those uh, that slowing down poison. Instead, it's uh, actual damaging poison this time. Makes you cough. Sight smoke. Don't breathe this. I think I was still surprised to hear that frickin' like, Blentex still makes content. Still arguing for that stuff to be like the best blender ever. <laughs> I don't know. I never messed with one before. Nor would I, because I don't have a huge need to have a blender. Or a brand new blender at least. By the way, this is what I'm talking about, not getting all the souls. Yeah, they're like right out of my reach. Oh. Oh, there's something. Well, I don't know what else is there I missed, but let me go ahead and grab some more gold. Which, by the way... Alright. 376. 78. And there is going to be a seeker involved to get you a lot more gold. I mean, holy item is one thing, but there is another one. That's going to involve some backtracking. In fact, let's go ahead and do one, do one right now. Alright, so we need to go ahead and try to bunny hop along this up there. It may not look like it, but you can't actually get it. You have to... Oops. Yeah, you have to, like, hug along the right-hand side to get, get across. And that's how you do it. Then over here... And you got the goods. 200 health. Heck yeah. Oh. Someone tried throwing an axe at me. I don't know where he is. There's supposed to be a guy that spawns like right here. Where could he be? Let me just go ahead and backtrack a bit. Yeah, this is going to take a while. There you are. And that's not the end of the music. Now, I really don't want to experiment to find this out, but I'm not sure if bonus gold counts towards the total amount of gold you need to find. The things I do for souls. 
All right, let's see if I have trying to take the quick way back up through here. Here, because we need to get on over to the other side right here. Eh. All right, you probably saw that shiny thing right up there. We do need to try to bunny hop over here, and we're going to quick save for this, because we, we might screw this up, considering we have to... Uh, just, just keep on doing it. Hug up against this. You might get it soon. Eh. Sometimes you might need to have like a bit of a running start, I guess. Here. Although it kills your momentum as soon as you try to climb up it. Oh, there we go. Nice. So we got a holy item and some more ammo. And yes, of course that counts towards your gold. And we easily meet the criteria. Now we can go and destroy these. Might want to sidestep when you uh, destroy those things. Considering those debris just like flings right at you. And you and you'll never know in, in terms of the in terms of the game's physics. Like if it'll just insta kill ya. Also oddly peaceful music here this time around. Definitely not what I want to have in my game. Alright, so we found two of the da, 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 da. Okay. Alright, we can't grab that because we're already definitely on overheal. Alright, this is where we need to go next. So we got some enemies spawning here from up top and down below, so let's stay here up on top just so we can harvest some more souls. Though at this point, I doubt we'll be able to go into demon mode again. You know, I still have yet to go ahead and mess with one of the uh, golden cards. Should probably do that just to demonstrate. I mean, anything the golden cards light is just gonna be like your like, oh shit button, really. But I'm definitely like quite overhealed, so there should be like no need for me to do that, really. I'm willing to bet that's probably everyone up here. Okay, that, that should have hit me. I, I won't deny that. It feels good to do that every now and then. In fact, I have a lot of grenades. I should have been abusing them the whole time. Ow! Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, this is great. So to, to, uh, to remind you, I do have the, you know, world slows down as well as uh, I take half damage. That's what my current cards are like. And that actually lasted quite a, quite a bit of time. In fact, probably longer than being in demon mode. And I think there are some golden cards, or, or at least silver cards, that allows you to have uh, uh, longer duration for the golden cards. And I think so far out of all of them, Time slowing down is pretty much going to be the most useful. There is going to be more, like, speed modifiers, like, four times slower. Or even eight times slower, if I'm crazy enough to recall that. But that's going to be much later down the line. Alright. There's only seven monsters left, but we want to be careful about this one. Because we have these guys right here. But also, one guy right behind there. Ah. 
tries to blow up in my face. And that's all of them. Alright, so here's the exit. But now we have permission to backtrack to get some extra stuff. As that's what we need in order to get to the last secret. Climb up here. This will allow you to go ahead and backtrack by climbing up here. Use a bit more shotgun shells. Even though the ammo counter is pretty much just going to reset anyway when I go to the next one. Alright, so... Once the exit portal opens up, this here door opens. And you have a secret area right up here. Doesn't look like much, but... You do have a lot more of gold to get. Considering the amount of gold that I, whoops, whatever. Yeah, considering the amount of gold that I have, I pretty much did not get a whole bunch of it in comparison to my practice run. But hey, I, I say that's good enough. It definitely meets the criteria for getting the tarot card. Yeah, I pass up on those barrels. They only just give like one gold each, but hey, I'm, I'm good enough for that. So yeah, armor, items, secrets, monsters, and the tarot card, we got it. Sweet. Ah, that's what, that's, that's the one thing I was talking about. Golden cards last 10 seconds longer. All right. See, and that is listed as a thing right here. I might as well add that since it's pretty cheap. I mean, a lot of these things are cheap. Not the silver ones, though. I mean, passive, like, is, like, always, always awesome. All right, with that next one, and last one, actually, for Chapter 1 is Enclave, and I'll see you for that.